I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to show you guys how I set up the classroom for Meet the Teacher and just to give you like an overview of classroom setup. Basically, I'm finished. Um, I will be adding things throughout the year. So this is not like an official tour, but I want to show you guys around, okay? If you're new to the channel, my name is Ashley and I make videos on my teaching experience. I started vlogging my first year teaching, so now I am going into my fourth year teaching and I'm super excited about it. So we had Meet the Teacher today. I want to show you guys how I prepare for it. Just a brief overview and then show you guys around. It's going to be a quick little vlog today. But yeah, I'm about to wrap up everything. So I wanted to go home and I wanted to show you guys this. It is Friday. So happy Friday. So this is an overview. I am so happy on how it turned out. Don't mind the mess over there. I was just eating lunch earlier. But yes, this is how it's looking. A lot of changes guys so I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about each change um, the biggest change is I did group the tables or the desk um, I did four groups of six I felt like the six groups of four was too cluttered and I just made it like functioning a little better I don't know I just feel like this is a better alternative and we'll see how it works but you guys see how much room I have I can like walk around I did put these dots thank you to the person who bought these in my first year of teaching these little dots I'm still using those so uh, I really appreciate that but yes yeah, so it'll be a way for the kids to line up with ease I did 24 dots I have 20 kids on my roster right now but that's that so over here the kids dropped off their supplies I did put a lot of the supplies in these bins just to uh, get us situated but yeah so I did that and this area right here is going to be the kids zone so like I said a lot of changes from the desk to putting these crayon boxes up here because they were in the front of the classroom um, I wanted this to be like a self-help area so I'm gonna be the person in charge of taking all the kids to the library this year so I have all three blocks library folders here and then the crayon situation organization um, my, my team member made that she painted it and everything so I put that in here I got my sharp and my dull pencils or uh, buckets for pencils my sharpener and then these are going to be where the computers are going to be held so we have like Chromebooks and they'll be held back here so the kids will be putting their book bags in this area here and actually they'll be putting their book bags in all three areas and so it'll be like a book bag placement grab my computer grab a pencil you know, it's just a quick little thing. This is just a catch-all spot. I wanted this to be an easy area for me to like have kids go to the back of the classroom instead of the front of the classroom. This is up and coming still. This is basically the health area, health care area, self care, get yourself together, tissue, hand sanitizer. I'm just gonna have to put this on like a little shelf or something. I just don't want, I could see that being a drip problem. So that, that's how I have that set up. And so this is all like self-help. And then over here is the corner that I'm guys I just stopped working on it I am gonna be working I still have I still have two more days and I'm gonna get this figured out but I did take the sign down be the light and I put this here because we're no longer doing the science book program we're not doing that anymore so that's just a blank uh, bulletin board which I'll talk to you guys about it in just a moment but I took that sign down and put it over here and I think it just looks better and it flows better now my books and everything haven't been organized yet but I will be organizing that soon 
and so this is basically just an early finisher area and then this area is going to be called Antarctica basically instead of telling the kids to go to the calm down corner we're going to be labeling this Antarctica which I just decided to do that so that's up and coming and when I give you guys the official tour you'll, you'll see all that but um, right now this is just housing the supplies and this globe and stuff I got all my junk under here semi-organized my plants and everything they're doing well I need to label this water pitcher which I do plan on doing label on this water pitcher water I think it'll be cute and then my cat the sister surviving um, this one is I don't know what's happening guys if y'all know help me out it's it's doing okay but I don't know maybe I need to repot it I don't know but over here is the teacher area and it's really not like anything extra I mean I just have my mug and my name which I got my first year teaching so I got this my first year teaching so I put that there my little plant and then I got this little area set up like this This is going to be my little organizer. Well, that is what it is. My fan, I got a little decorative piece right here. These are my favorite pictures of teaching with the brown and the white egg. So I got one of my students to take a picture of me while I was doing that. But I think, you know, it's one of my favorite pictures of myself. And also, like I said, this is still up and coming. Just was doing some work, got some students' names on that. But anyways, this is how I had it set up for me, the teacher. It said, welcome to third grade. And then I had a PowerPoint showing on the screen right here. I'm still working on trying to get this to be cast, but I did work, I did figure out how to write on it and stuff. So I'll be showing you guys that in a separate video. And then these are our rules and then our procedures for, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs in the middle. And I got these Christmas lights from Dirt Cheap. If you guys got a Dirt Cheap, then you know. So I covered up this bulletin board. I'm glad I did because clearly it's not fixed and I wanted it to look nice for me to teach her. So I just used some black border, I mean black bulletin board paper and then I put the border that matches this white board right here. Excuse the trash in the bag. And then this area, I don't want to get too close, but that is how they signed in. All the forms, the syllabus, everything that they needed. And then um, this, this is my affirmation center. And then I have my little plants up here got those from target a while back got this from hobby lobby a while back it's been sitting up there i got this from michael's do the right thing even when no one is watching nobody's watching i need a center that think like a scientist but that's that um, i'm also going to be covering up my board my window a little better but i do want to get one of those little chimes to go up there but this is how it's looking for right now my little hello sign got my um, hall passes right here and then I have like my, my, you know, um, sound language and then just the expectations for using correct voice levels. This is still a work in progress. I'm going to be adding the birthdays right there. Um, and I'm taking this down because we decided to do a bulletin board for the news on the outside of the classroom. So that's that. And this is just a welcome sign that I got from TPC in one of my bundles um, for about two years ago. So I just always have that up. And then these came from teacher store. I was using that for one of the science um, units that we were doing on space. So I just kept that from last year. This came from Michael's, I believe. Yeah, Michael's a while back. No, Joanne's. It came from Joanne's a while back. And then this little strip came from a teacher store, the cursive writing. Over here, this is going to be a writer's workshop, but I wanted to show you guys um, when you're doing Meet the Teacher, if you put one of these like little little stickies, like it wasn't sticking, so I stapled it, but that's for like your wish list items. So I put like a lot of like Kleenex and sanitizer, Lysol wipes, Clorox wipes. A lot of people got the Clorox wipes, so that's a good thing. And I had some um, families, did they did bring some Clorox stuff and all um, Kleenexes and all that kind of stuff. But this is gonna be our writer's workshop. So apparently I am going to be aiding ELA in writing. So they'll be using 30 minutes of my 90 minute block to do writing and phonics and just basically intervention for ELA. So this is where I'm gonna be doing the writers, the writers workshop. I just wanted to show you guys that and then give you guys one more pan around. I did hang those little balls up there in the sky or not in the sky, <laughs> in the ceiling or on the ceiling and yeah 
this is simple and I didn't want it to be too cluttered so I have this whole little area right here I can work on and have projects and things dry in whatever I need and then this is like a functioning space and then the kids need to write like I said this is gonna be writers workshop so any type of like um, I'm gonna print out some like must do's or what you need to do when you're writing and just reminders and they'll be able to sit here if they need to I wanted to show you guys how this turned out our son our son I think it turned out really cute and I just hot glued it up there but um you could probably put some command strips on there if you want to I know that they're gonna be painting this wall um, next year so that's why I did that but my daughter as you guys saw the previous video they helped me paint these um, basically these are pool noodles I cut them and I printed the rise sign off word and that's just the same bulletin board paper that's on this board right here I just cut it out and those little leaves came from Dollar Tree I believe a year ago maybe yeah Dollar Tree so or Hobby Lobby one of them but anyways I just wanted to show you guys how it turned out So I want to thank you guys so much for following along with our classroom setup this year. I'm super excited to bring you along this year. Um, we have our first day of school, which is next Wednesday. Today is Friday, so we start school on August the 10th. My daughter's birthday is August the 12th, so that's always funny to me. But anyways, um, August the 10th, we have our first day of school, and I'm super excited about it. I hope you guys follow along on my journey. If you're new here, please subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions whatsoever, please email me at ashlynnicolefairly at gmail.com, and I'll be able to reach you that way. Or you can always leave your questions in the comments. I'll reach you that way. And if you just want to meet me at fairly.simple.life on Instagram, you can meet me over there and we can chat over there as well and if you haven't check out our wish list in the description and uh yeah i will see you guys on the next video bye guys